Okay, so once you've bought your router, <clears throat> you have to build this bit, which I call the cradle. Um, obviously, once again, there's a hundred ways to do it. I do not build it adjustable. I build it solid, and I use the router height to adjust my height on the table. Most of what we do is between 50 and 40 mil, so I'm only talking about, you know, 10 to 15 mil. So, I don't know, you'll have to look closer at the video, I suppose. Um, I've just used 10 mil plate because I had it laying around. The old one I made, I used Perspex. Uh, the reason I use Perspex is it's very hard to get these fuckers to line up. So I've got all of them, apart from that bastard thing, lined up. And I can't be fuck pulling it all apart and re-drilling that hole so it can just stay open. I don't give a shit. Uh, but what you want is you want it to be obviously free moving. And that's why I do this bit now because you can adjust where these go by how you tighten these up. So you put your you put your uh, bearing blocks on, you put the screws in lightly, and then you adjust it as you tighten them so that it runs freely on your on your rails. Need a bit of oil and the rails need cleaning up, but who gives a shit? I'll do that later. And obviously that then lives in there. Which is very hard to do with one hand while you're filming. Get in here, bastard thing. So, and then I can adjust the height by the height of the router up and down. I've made a few mods to the router, as you can see. Hack the handles off, cut the base down a bit. You don't have to, you can make your, your cradle, this piece, bigger to fit the router in with the handles and everything, but I want the cradle as small as possible because you lose surface area by how big your, your cradle is. So, that's that section. Um, I haven't said in the other bits, but Mate, feel free to send me a message if there's anything that I you know, haven't told you or that you want to know. But, uh, yeah, that's that bit for now, and uh, I'll work on the next bit.